Mastocytosis, or clonal mast cell disease, is a rare disorder that leads to increased numbers of incorrectly functioning mast cells. Mast cells are a kind of white blood cell that have many roles in the immune system, including allergic reactions. There are two main categories of mastocytosis. In cutaneous mastocytosis, the mast cells accumulate only in the skin. In systemic mastocytosis, mast cells also accumulate in other tissues, like the liver, spleen, lymph nodes, gastrointestinal tract, and, most commonly, bone marrow. Generally, the signs and symptoms of mastocytosis are similar to an allergic reaction. They can range between categories and from mild to life-threatening. Some examples are pain, flushing, malaise, headaches, memory and concentration difficulties, stomach aches, production of more than the usual amount of gastric juices, abdominal discomfort, nausea, bloating or diarrhea, and anaphylaxis, which is a severe allergic reaction that can be deadly. Now, within each main category of mastocytosis, there are additional forms. Their distinction can be based on more specific signs and symptoms. For example, in the most common form of cutaneous mastocytosis, lesions appear on the skin's surface as brownish, flat, or elevated spots. They may be surrounded by derriere signs, which are areas of skin that become red and itchy when scratched or rubbed. In the rarest form, lesions aren't present but the skin is rougher and thicker. Itching and blistering may also occur in individuals who are less than one year old. Some skin changes may be present in systemic mastocytosis, but these forms also involve dysfunction in other tissues. Blood cell production in the bone marrow may decrease and bones may soften and weaken. In addition to liver dysfunction, swelling or enlargement of the liver, spleen, or lymph nodes may occur. In aggressive systemic mastocytosis, liver function may be lost, and in advanced mastocytosis, other blood disorders such as leukemias can form. Normally developing mast cells are found in the bone marrow, and as they mature, they leave the bone marrow and sit in tissues around the body. There they have an important role in activating the immune system to defend the body against a threat, such as an insect sting, alcohol, or physical or emotional stress. When a threat triggers a response, mast cells become activated and release a large amount of chemicals, like histamine or leukotrienes, into the surrounding tissue. These chemicals lead to a specific immune system response called an allergic reaction. Typically, mastocytosis is caused by changes or mutations in the KIT gene, also called mast stem cell growth factor receptor, and the most common mutation is D816V. This leads to abnormal growth and accumulation of mast cells in tissues and overactive release of chemicals, sometimes without a clear trigger. The effects of the chemicals involved in these allergic reactions leads to many of the signs and symptoms of the disorder. Mastocytosis can affect males and females equally. Cutaneous mastocytosis more commonly occurs in children, typically resolving during puberty. Systemic mastocytosis largely affects adults and tends to persist throughout life. A diagnosis of mastocytosis can be confirmed by a biopsy of the affected tissue. A skin biopsy for cutaneous mastocytosis or a bone marrow biopsy for systemic mastocytosis would reveal a high number of mast cells. With systemic mastocytosis, mast cells in the bone marrow may also have an abnormal appearance and commonly have the D816V kit mutation. Treatment for mastocytosis centers on management, particularly the activity of mast cells. Chromoglycic acid can be used to prevent the release of chemicals. But if chemicals are released, their effects can be dampened by medications like antihistamines or leukotriene antagonists. Anaphylaxis can be managed using EpiPens. In some cases, glucocorticoids may be used to reduce immune system activity. Specific signs and symptoms can be managed further. For example, sorolin plus ultraviolet A radiation, or PUVA, can treat skin lesions. Bisphosphonates can strengthen bones and proton pump inhibitors can be used to treat the increased acid production in the stomach. 
In aggressive systemic forms, specialists like hematologists or oncologists may be needed to target more aggressive management. Several medications have been approved by the FDA to treat aggressive systemic mastocytosis, including imatinib mesylate, if not associated with a D816V kit mutation, mitostarin, and most recently avapritinib. As a quick recap, mastocytosis is a rare disorder characterized by abnormal accumulation and activation of mast cells in body tissues. It can be divided into two main categories, with cutaneous mastocytosis primarily affecting the skin. Systemic mastocytosis affects the bone marrow and internal organs like the liver, spleen, gastrointestinal tract, and lymph nodes. Signs and symptoms, which are generally similar to those of an allergic reaction, can vary between categories and types. Mastocytosis is usually caused by mutations in the KIT gene. A diagnosis can be confirmed through tissue biopsies, and treatment is focused on managing mast cell activity and the effects on specific tissues.